I'm questioning if I made a terrible decision in marrying my husband. This will be a long read and I'm not a native speaker. So please bear with me. Hey, beautiful people. How are you all doing today? It's your girl, Maria David, and I'm back again with another ready trend. So let's go ahead and hear what she has to say. She's 25 years old and questioning why my decision to marry my husband, which is 26 years old male. We've been friends for around eight years, dated for three years, and I've been married for just about five months. Since I've known him for a long time, I knew he was always being a moody guy and easily insulted by small jokes. At that time, I considered that my friends were the ones who were too blunt in making jokes. But when I got closer to him and eventually dated him, I realized that it might have been an anger issue all along. I have, I have seen some red flags from when we were dating, but I ignored them by always trying to reason and making excuses based on his past and how his parents raised him. Sometimes I question myself, even though I don't have a good upbringing, upbringing myself, I didn't end up like him, so I, I shouldn't be an excuse for him. But then again, I always use the excuse that everyone is different in handling their traumas. I think he has treated me the worst compared to all the boys I've been close to. I won't list everything I dislike about him as they are not major issues. But one thing frustrates me the most he is passive aggressive. And I feel like he doesn't consider other feelings before he talks. He will talk in a rude tone of voice. For instance, if he goes out without me and I ask, is it raining outside? Instead of answering nicely, he will say, well, I wouldn't know. I'm inside a building right now. I'm sure if it's considered rude in English, but in my native language is considered rude. I'm not sure, sorry. Beside the way he talks, he is also not careful with things. For instance, he slams the door at home even when I ask nicely not to do it. Slams the brake when he's riding on the motorbike, which I take as not considering our safety. It's easy. These are the things, these are the little things that frustrate me the most. There is also a major thing that he did that has made me develop a massive trust issue. Back when we were dating around two years ago, I caught him saving pictures of girls on his phone, including his exes. I confronted him and he apologized, promised not to do it again, said he didn't want to ruin our friendship, our relationship over something so trivial, and he admitted he was stupid. I forgave him because I love him a lot. Fast forward to several months ago after we got married and lived together, I accidentally saw a screenshot notification on his phone. I knew I was wrong and I breached his privacy. But out of curiosity, I grabbed his phone when he was in the bathroom. I saw that he had taken a screenshot of a photo of a pretty girl he knows. I opened his phone to go through the gallery and found nothing then i thought he might have put in some of secure in put in some kind of secure folder which i unfortunately found and managed to unlock with a password to my shock the folder was full of pictures of girls nudes hot girls and even photos of his exes that he had screenshot from their Instagram stories. I scrolled through the folder and discovered that he had been doing this routinely for years. What broke me the most is that he even had one picture dated literally one day before our wedding. Wow. I was shocked and ended up crying for hours. I couldn't bring myself to talk to him for three days. Not because I was giving him the silent treatment on purpose, but because I couldn't talk to him without crying. And I was afraid to comfort him without being prepared 
for his response. On the third day, he cried and begged me to tell him what was wrong, saying he missed me and he couldn't bear not talking to me. I tried to maintain my composure and finally comforted him about what I found on his phone. I told him that I felt so betrayed and I didn't know how I could trust him in the future. As this is not the first time he did something like that. He could only remain silent, not knowing what to say, and he kept crying and apologizing several times. Eventually, he said he didn't know why he was doing that and that it was because he admires beauty. Which made no sense to me. He cannot explain himself and he gave no excuse. He admitted that he was so wrong. We eventually made up again because I'm still in love with him despite all of this. And I'm too much of a coward to separate from him. Now that we are married, I can't say that I'm not happy. I did, but sometimes I am reminded of what I found on his phone. How I gave him second chance, but got betrayed again. And my trust issue would resurface, which frustrates me a lot. It doesn't help that I have constantly deal with deal, those little things I dislike about him. However, when our relationship is fine or when he treats me nicely, I feel fine. I'm not sure how to proceed with this relationship. I do love him a lot despite his flaws. I'm not perfect either and I'm trying to improve myself. It helped me through my darkest time and it gave me a sense of purpose to live. Inspiring me to be better than I am right now. So again, I love him and I want to fix our relationship. But I cannot even imagine sitting down with him to talk through, to talk this through because he's not the easiest person to talk to. I'm just so sad right now and it's taking a toll on me. Oh my God. You all, I should made a mistake marrying this guy. I know you already know. I feel like it's okay to forgive anyway. But then I don't think it will change. Him. Do you think he was going to change? Him? She went for that to give us updates. She said, I never expected my post to get so much attention. I simply wanted to express my gratitude to all of you who took the time to read my story, provide input, suggestion, and even share your experience with similar situation. Your kindness and well wishes mean a lot to me. I wanted you to know that I have read every single reply, although I may not respond to all of them or answer every question individually, I will try to address similar concerns in the future. I apologize for any formatting issue as I'm using a mobile device. For those of you concerned about us having children, don't worry, we are using birth control. Good. To those who mentioned my lack of self-respect, I am aware of this and I have been struggling with it for some time. I haven't received proper help for this issue yet, but I'm planning to seek therapy, including addressing my relationship problems. Currently, I'm considering talking to him about therapy for myself. I genuinely want to hear what he has to say as I believe he's not, bad, he's not a bad person. If the individual therapy succeeds, we may explore couple therapy as well. I won't rush into any decision, especially one as, a significant, as significant as this. I want to avoid any regrets, so I won't make any decision, at least until after I've received therapy. I come from a more conservative country where divorce isn't common and I can have wide reaching consequences, especially within close knit families. I will try to get insights that are relevant to my current situation. I understand that some of you may wonder why I marry him in that first in the first place. I've had the same thoughts, which is why I made this post. It's possible I was naive. And mistakes were made. I'm still uncertain about my feelings, which is why I'm seeking professional help. 
it may take some time as finding the right professional isn't easy where i live that's all for now once again thank you all for your kind words well wishes i might post an update in the future have a great day let me know what you all think about this post down in the comment section this is a lot this is a lot and i feel like the option or yeah the therapy thing that she wants to do fine first we help her work on herself her self-esteem and it might also make her know if she really needs this man or not and for us to be in a country whereby divorce is not so common it might be like maybe she's in nigeria because somebody will tell you that don't you didn't you see all of that before you got married to him but he's not showing that he's really really cheating now he's just saving pictures and since he's begging and he's saying he's going to change why can't you give him another chance and none of your family members will support you if you say you want to divorce the man they won't support you so now i can't even imagine what's going to run on her head because i don't think she can even trust him anymore yes of course she will still love him but that trust that she has maybe probably she see him on social media she might be like oh maybe i saved the picture like what are you saving having a secret folder for on your phone and you're saying because you're saving it because they are beautiful and you have pictures of your exes like there's something they say they say food where you don't go chop you don't go smell lamb what does that mean is if you're not going to eat a particular meal you don't need to smell it and say let me smell and taste I I taste first let me know if I'm going to eat. no need if you're not hungry don't touch the food so that is it like why are you saving pictures if at the end of the day you won't do what you're supposed to Maybe probably is even doing masturbating with those pictures we wouldn't even know because he has nudes on his phone so he must be doing something with them so if let's assume he's not even seeing them physically and doing the, the real deal but for him to start with pictures he would definitely consider doing the real thing and this is just a five months relationship like a five months marriage it's too early for that but then let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this ready thread let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section and i will see you all in my next ready thread bye